today we're going to be changing this condensate pump out. Uh, pump still works, but what it it doesn't have a float switch on it. And as you see from that drain line right there, it goes all the way upstairs. And that drain line right there from this unit goes down into the same pump. So both units share the same pump with no way of shutting the upstairs unit off. So what I'm going to do is replace the pump, put a pump in that has a float switch, and then add a relay, and then run a wire to the line set to the low voltage of the upstairs, have it break the signal going to the outdoor unit if the pump ever overflows. And as you see, I have a brand new pump set in here, and the reason the top is off is because I have the float switch in my hand. And as you see, um, this little float switch has three terminals. Power comes in and right now power is leaving until the float switch opens up. And then when it opens up what it does on that middle terminal right there it stops sending power to the unit causing the unit to shut down. What I want to do is have when the float switch opens up I want it to send power out of this switch and into a relay so I can use the normally open normally closed terminals of this relay to turn both of the units off at the same time if for some reason this pump fails. I could just go ahead and put a pan under that pump right there but you know a pan with a float switch but uh, I think this is just a better way to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Put a relay in. So what I'm going to do is uh, it comes shipped from the factory uh, just like this. I'm just going to take this uh, terminal off this. Uh, I'm going to take this wire off this terminal right here and move it up to the uh, top terminal and that way when the switch opens up it will send power to the relay. So let me get it put together. It just unsnaps out of here. You see the float switch goes in that little hole right there. All right, so I have my relay mounted. And what I, what I did was I came off my red terminal on the circuit board right there. And I fed it down to my condensate pump float switch. I came back with my condensate float switch and I send it to the coil of the relay. And then what I did was took this white wire here and fed it up to the common of the circuit board. So what that's going to do is going to power, power is going to lead the circuit board, it's going to follow the wire down, going to go into the float switch of the condensate pump on this wire here and it's going to go down and then when this pump opens up, when this float switch opens up like that, it's going to send power out of the top of the float switch, send it back to the furnace, to this white wire here, energize this relay, and then it will send power, it will break power going to the outdoor units here on these terminals here. So I'm going to get those wired up and we'll get it tested out. Since this main floor system is a dual fuel system, I just simply went up to the dual fuel board, uh, broke my Y here, uh, going to the outdoor unit, and I will send this wire down to the relay, break the terminals down there on the relay, and that'll make this the main floor work off that relay. All right, so I got the uh, uh, upstairs wire right here. And all I did was just simply uh, cut the insulation, get the yellow wire, and just break the yellow wire. Now let's go down to the relay and hook it all up. Alright, so I have my jumper wires attached to my meter, and I've got my meter turned off right this second. But I've got my jumper wires attached to the normally closed circuit of the relay. Um, so what will happen is 
unless that flow switch over on the pump opens up like this do you hear the click of the relay so let's turn the meter on all right you hear the beeping now let's go switch the uh let's go open the float switch on the pump all right so that's how that's going to work let go of the float switch we got power there you go while I was here I put a safety switch at SS2 up on the coil for the main floor um, ran it down into the system here turn the thing off um, and then and here's my power coming in from the defrost board, I mean from the dual fuel panel up, up there on the plenum, right up there, right up there, and it uh, goes through the relay, goes in through the switch, comes back, uh, feeds power up through the uh, uh, dual fuel board, this one just breaks yellow up in the ceiling which is right up there so that's the wire up there that goes out to the outdoor unit from the upstairs and now I'm just going to put everything back together got the top off and uh, we'll start it up and make sure everything works